Did you know that you can customize the columns in your post or pages area? This makes it very helpful in your workflow as you're working on your WordPress website. So today I'll show you how you can add and customize the admin columns in WordPress. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and log in and go to your post area. This is where all of your content is stored. And if you come up here under screen options, first off, you see all of the columns that you can have in here and you can untick them if there are tags or categories or something that you don't use or you don't want, you can unselect those. You also notice that we have a couple of other items here. This is dependent on plugins. For instance, AIO SEO, they have AIO SEO details. If you have that installed, that will come in here. This is Monster Insights. They have an area for you to look at here. So that's the first way that you can customize it, but let's take it a step further where you can add other things in here as well. To do that, we're going to install a plugin and so we'll head over to plugins, add new, and the plugin that we're searching for will be called admin columns. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install it now and stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Once it's installed, you can simply come here to settings, or if you ever need to come back to make changes to the admin columns, you can come over on the left under settings and go down to admin columns. From here, this is where we can make our changes and configure it just how we want. And from here, you can make changes however you want. So for instance, if something like AIO SEO details is more important, you can bring it and drag it all the way up and then that will be the first thing you see. You can also click on these and edit them to either change the title name or the title label. You can also choose to change the width of it if you need a little bit more space, you can do that here. The other cool thing is coming down here, you can click add columns and this is where you can add columns that aren't already there. For instance, if you want to show an image so you can see what images are on your post, or this is also good if you are needing to add a featured image to all of your posts, this will bring in really quickly so you can see what image is already there. And then you can choose which thumbnail to show as the image size. And then once you click save, then that will bring that in. So if I go back to my all posts, we'll see that this is now featured images in here and you can tell that I don't have any featured images, but I can scroll down and here are some that are featured image. So now I have this to play with. And then you can change these up a little bit as well. So let's head back over and make a couple more changes. And now let's add one more column. And I actually use this plugin on my personal site because I want to know the word count of all of my posts. It's not that big of a deal for most people, but I just want to know, do I at least have a thousand words on each of my blog posts? And we actually want to go up to more like 1200 or 1500. And so I'll add the word count on here and let's go ahead and click update. And that just lets me know exactly how my posts are doing and how many words I have on them. So then when you go to all posts, you can see this in action and we see the word count just by a look. I can see which ones do I need to work on to bring that word count up. And once you have all this set up, make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through step by step on exactly how to install and configure all-in-one SEO to get the most SEO out of your WordPress website. And I'll see you over there.